Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. This is it. It is anniversary time, the seventh anniversary of Marvel Puzzle Quest, the game. And it's a great time to get into our contest and giveaway that we've been talking about for a long time. In this video, we're going to play some matches in the RAR event featuring Devil Dinosaur, the first four-star limited character in the game. You can't get these covers and levels in Devil Dino without uh, earning them from events. They're not available in tokens. You can also uh, get levels with purchase packs and stuff, but one of the harder characters to level up, so we're going to get into this PvP, and then we are going to open the contest right here in this video, and it's going to be, uh, we'll get into the details in just a little bit after a couple of battles. Be ready for that. Best of luck with that. We'll give the exact descriptions. And if you uh, are a subscriber, it is open to you. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that button because uh, that is what it's going to take to get involved in our giveaway and contest. And it's going to be involving heroic tokens and possibly mighty tokens. So that's our clue for the contest that's going to open really soon. I'll say go when that happens and uh, give the further details. So getting into the fun, let's jump into our first match with the uh, Devil Dinosaur boosted up to decent levels. And uh, let's see, we're going to take on this team right here to see if we can win. They've got Apocalypse on the team. That's already going to be tough. In the last video, we played Deadpool in Crash of the Titans against X-Force Wolverine. And I think that'll be a fun combo to open up and uh, start off this battle with. We've also have we have Devil Dino here to play along, but we'll probably feature Deadpool's abilities. He's uh, super boosted. This is the uh, maximum level champion, and uh, he's going to be great. He plays with X Force Wolverine in a really good way. Let's see if we can win. This will be a little bit challenging, but I think we're going to be uh, fine here toward the end. We'll boost up our AP and talk about how to win. I think we have our animations on from last time. Let's go. I'm going to try to take on Apocalypse first. I think he's going to be the very much more dangerous than the others. The Thor, of course, but maybe not as much until he gets to 50%. We've got a match four in green. Let's start with that and talk about the rest of our strategy as we go. Now, red is a super dangerous color to let the enemy team have because of apocalypse even more so if he gets his yellow played before that so for almost every red match we really have to make sure we get that and it's a very important color for deadpool as well that's his massive hitting ability and uh, really great at healing as well Thirty-six thousand plus damage and um, healing of over twenty-one thousand to deadpool so we're gonna prioritize that for sure let's go for black that drops green and why does deadpool and x-force wolverine uh that combo why does that play well together well mostly because well for a couple reasons when deadpool plays countdown for what it puts countdowns on the enemy team's strongest color in this case it's going to be black because of apocalypse when those countdowns are out there if they're matched or destroyed then uh, you'll get a bunch of damage for them with whether either team does that. But with X-Force Wolverine on the team, Surgical Strike automatically destroys the enemy team's strongest color tiles. Again, that's black. So if we can play purple before black, it's going to be awesome. And uh, it's, it's really a well-designed uh, duo for these two. And uh, they get along and... and uh, play well as an X-Force duo together. What do we want to do here? Go for black, or do I need to start getting yellow? Probably do. The enemy team's not going to be too inclined to go for purple. It is, uh, look at that, we got lucky on the drop for the match four in purple. But um, the only purple ability they have on the team is Devil Dinosaur, and it's not going to be too much damage. I'm not worried about it. Let's go for green purple here. But we need to get more black before they do always have to go for red matches though apocalypse red is super damaging 
we'll do let's do red this way okay and now we could get more green but i think we better really prioritize black here's a small hit from devil dino could set up a cascade no big deal all right they're getting a bunch of black they have seven now so apocalypse can play his black ability it does healing and places protectiles on the board but if um there are already protectiles when he plays his black it does and just a crazy ton of damage so right now if he's going to play it that's fine we have most of our abilities ready to go though there's no red matches to qualify out of bullets yet but this might be the time there's black all over the board let's do this before the protectiles get out there so against apocalypse we're going to play countdown for what there's a lot of black tiles six of them have countdowns on it and each one will deal 7,200 damage if they're matched or destroyed. Well, we're going to ensure that by playing Surgical Strike. Check this out. Good damage on its own. Man, awesome. Okay, and so now we have a couple more abilities to play should we be very careful here there's no red match available right now so let's go ahead and play x-force wolverine's x-force ability destroys random x-shaped areas of the board it did work for a little bit of cascades in a super excellent way it set up the red match that we needed to qualify deadpool's red Okay, so we're in really good shape. Let's keep working on um, Apocalypse here to take him out. We've got a green-blue combo. No blue user on our team, but that's the same thing for their team. No blue. Wolverine isn't damaged very much. He doesn't tank uh, colors except for yellow. That's definitely a thing to, to worry about. Um... We'll play purple again when there are green matches on the or black matches on the board. We should have played it now there is a match available. They'll probably go for it. Yep, probably should have played that. That's okay. We're really close to getting Apocalypse taken out. Not much going on with this board. Let's go ahead for another X-Force. All right, here's a great spot. There's two different match fours that were lined up, and black is spread out around the board, but we might get some lucky ways to have these destroyed. Let's go here. Ha, <laughs> set them up with an extra move, sure. All the damage that came to Deadpool's allies he can set up a retaliation with the uh, automatic countdowns. So that's great. So, all right. Things are looking good. Let's qualify green for X-Force again. And start working on Thor. When we get him down to enough health where he's below 30, around 36,000, we'll play out of bullets to take him out in one shot. We have to account for a little bit of protectiles, not a lot. Uh, all right, there are countdown for what's spread out around the board. Let's see if we ex actually get lucky and destroy one or so. Got a couple. Perfect. Okay, it's a little overkill now, but let's go ahead and take Thor out without a bullet. He's at about 50% health. You don't want him to be there for long. Healing for Deadpool, and look at that. We're in really good shape in this match now. If we can get uh, a few more reds again, we'll be able to play Deadpool's out of bullets once more to ensure the win. But if we can get black and purple for our big combo, that'll be the way to go. 
is this oh that is this is a good spot check it out there's a match four in purple but don't always jump out to the first match four you see there's actually a way to do an extra move here see if you can tell where it's at on the board and uh, while you're looking i'll say in another match or two we'll talk about the uh, contest and get that open for everyone let's do this blue match to the right sets off the purple extra move critical tile matches with yellow we can play Wolverine's Yellow twice for healing. See if we get lucky with the reds here. He'll probably take that red match. Some people say Devil Dinosaur is female, and uh, I've always thought it was a male dino. I guess I'm not really sure. Maybe you guys can let us know. Uh, we can match one of X-Force Wolverine's Yellows. That can be a decent amount of cascades and a little bit of damage. Taking some damage. We need to get a little more red to win this thing. I know it's taking a long time, but X-Force Wolverine isn't boosted, so the only uh, boost we have in our favor is for Deadpool. Extra move. The critical hits the red and black at the bottom. Wow. What a run. We can do this again. Got lucky with black. We could play another Surgical Strike, but what I definitely want to do is win with Out of Bullets so that Deadpool can heal up for the next match. And there we go. Very nice. One versus a difficult team in our challenge against Apocalypse and Thor there. Let's get into another battle. Uh, that's an interesting one with Gambit. You don't see him often anymore, but let's skip around for some other cool teams. And what I want to do is get uh, Polaris into a match. And we'll play Polaris and probably, here's a good one. Let's go ahead and play our Apocalypse and bring in a, our brand new four star champion Polaris into the match. See if we can win a little quicker than last time. Definitely should be possible. She's not boosted either, but I think we're gonna get along just fine. And uh, we're gonna really benefit from the easy ways to deal damage from Polaris when you have a lot of special tiles on the board. Hopefully we get there. Look at this board. We have an extra move multi-directional with those team-ups. Let's start hitting. We probably want to attack Kitty Pride first. Now let's look at the board. Which way do you want to do the match? Do you want to move this tile to the right or do you want to move this tile down? I think you want to move this tile down because that will shoot across this row and give us a free match in the red on the right side. And then the blues will actually match for a, a match for um, when you do that. We could go the other direction and the critical would land down here and hit those blacks for good damage. But building up red I think is really important with Apocalypse and also going for yellow. So we got lucky we have a critical match in yellow and it sets up a match four in green above. No surprise, they get lucky with the match four immediately afterward, and check this out. Now begins the craziness. Polaris puts out a strike tile when there are none to start, um, to start her passive. There's another extra move on the board, so we'll do that first. But once we start matching those special tiles, it uh, deals a little bit of damage, but then also replicates the um, special tile that you match. So let's get this extra move here. Really, really lucky on those critical matches. Kitty Pride is out. Unbelievable. Uh, so what do we want to do here? There's a really good move. I, oh, okay. So here's what we're going to do. We can play Polaris is blue now to start things off. I was going to match this strike tile, but we don't have to do that quite yet. With uh, Apocalypse on the team, you absolutely want to get yellow played as soon as possible because shared strength adds, in this case, over 10,000 damage onto every damaging ability you have on your team. So, with more strike tiles on the board from Iron Proficiency, plus a four turn stun, just absolute overkill on the stun, check this out. Um, we can now play 
shared strength. Professor X, while he was alert, was increasing the cost of some of our abilities, and now that he's stunned, we were able to play our shared strength where we weren't before uh, at the uh, increased cost. And now look at the board. We're going to do this yellow match that gets a strike tile match. We also get a couple of red strike tiles matched as a result. Watch the damage we're going to get from the passive, from Apocalypse adding on to Polaris. Professor X is out due to a, that's just incredible, due to a really nice combo with those matches, and now we're in really, really great shape. We've gonna, we're going to play a Prehistoric Bite from Devil Dinosaur. It destroys a, a small block section in the board, and if it destroys a strike tile, two of them, we get damage plus more strike tiles added. Amazing. Polaris is just a little too good, I think. She's not even boosted in that match. We didn't even play Apocalypse Red or Black in that match, and we get the win against a couple of five-star characters. Absolutely crazy. We'll do a couple more fights, but I think this is a great time to go ahead and open it up during the um, Marvel Puzzle Quest 7 year anniversary. We're doing a giveaway for the channel. I really appreciate you guys following along. This contest and giveaway is open to subscribers for the channel. We made it to well over a thousand. Super happy that you guys are uh, along for the ride and the, uh, and the support is just great. Here are the contest rules and the contest and giveaway is open right now. What we're going to do in this contest is draw 125 heroic tokens. They have a rate of um, 1 in 16 odds of getting a 4 star. So as we draw through these tokens, we should get a handful of 4 star characters. Your job in the contest and the giveaway is this. In the comments below, pick and predict a four-star character that we're going to get as we draw the heroic tokens. We've done a very similar thing in a kind of a fun uh, play-along game in our standard tokens where we guessed the three-star that we would get as um, a, along through the, uh, the draw rates from those tokens. So we're going to do the same thing in heroics. We'll get a lot of two-stars and three-stars, of course, but guess the four-star that you think you're going to hit. You get to make one guess, one four-star character, and of course you can always go through the list here to pull up uh, the character names. If um, you don't remember or want to have them in alphabetical order, you can check them out here every time and uh, pick a character that no one else has picked yet, after, uh, you know, because once somebody picks it, that character is their choice, and we're doing four giveaway prizes four different uh, $25 gift cards for either Google Play or Apple or uh, Steam. You, and if you're a winner, you let me know what you prefer. But that's what we're going to do. Once we get four winners from the Heroic Token four-star draws, that's the contest. That's the giveaway. Do it right now. You have to be a subscriber. Go to the comments below and pick the four-star character you think is yours going to be drawn along the way of these heroics. If we, for some reason, run really bad in the heroics, we've got the mighty tokens to go to where the draw rates on four stars are a little bit better, and we'll continue there until we have four winners. If for some reason we don't get four people uh, as winners in their predictions along the way, if we have low participation for the next 24 hours, then uh, we'll do our standard deal where we pick three star characters going forward. But I think we're going to get it. Uh, this time frame is open for 24 hours. This video should kick off at 8 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, October 3rd, and will run until 8 p.m. And uh, we'll start the video on Sunday night, which, uh, which would be October 4th of 2020, and that'll be where I reveal the tokens, draw the tokens, see who the winners are as we go along. So put in your predictions, pick the characters that you, th pick the character, you get one chance to guess who it's going to be. 
and we'll see if we can get a winner from these 100 plus four star characters in the game you get to pick once if someone uh, if you accidentally pick a character that someone picked above you uh, you can edit it but when you put a comment in it is um, logged and sent as an email to uh, to my uh, YouTube account so I definitely know what characters were picked in what order so pick some uh, pick a name that no one else has picked and try to win best of luck everyone hopefully we get our winners and uh, can't wait to see who we get to um, uh, give those gift cards away to. All right, so let's go on to the next battle. This might be a good one here. Let's go ahead and get Medusa into a fight. She's uh, really pretty awesome. And I think what we'll do is just play her along with uh, America Chavez. We're going to only have one active ability from Medusa with her purple. We'll try to play Devil Dino's red and green. The red actually hits kind of hard. The green's pretty weak. We'll see how it goes. But if we can get ahead on AP, Chavez will just start blasting the enemy team with critical tiles. We'll boost our AP and go. So in this match, I think what we want to do is... Well, there's an extra move in blue. We're definitely starting there. I think what we want is probably start hitting Chavez on their team. So that way we don't have to worry about them getting super lucky with critical tiles from extra moves and match fours. And once she's out, maybe we'll move over to Devil Dino. So there's a match four in team up, but that critical tile is really dangerous to leave for the enemy. There's also a match four in green is what I'm looking at. What's the best way to avoid a bunch of damage from Professor X. I think what we'll do is, I know some of you hate it when I do this, but I think what we're going to do is make a match three instead of a match four that kind of misaligns the other colors and doesn't leave as much, well, I left a match four in black. Just can't seem to win sometimes, but we're definitely ahead on AP, and look at the damage we're going to get from uh, America Chavez every turn when we have more AP than the enemy in certain colors. It's crazy. So once again, we have um, match four in two different directions. I think in this case, I think what we're going to do is this green match because we'll get an automatic match in yellow with that critical that should hit pretty hard great almost always professor x teams get match fours as easily as you do or, or more <laughs> but i think we have a way to to get america out here let's see are you guys putting in your predictions for the characters we're going to draw from the heroics? Make sure and get that in in the comments below. Let's do, we're going to just play Prehistoric Bite. It'll shake, it'll shake up the board and we'll make a better evaluation afterward. I think that was a really good choice because now we have Chavez able to be knocked out. Uh, the board looks good, but let's go over here and play. No, we'll save our purple for Medusa. Yeah, that's probably better. So let's go green and white. Chavez on the enemy team is out. Now we should only have to worry about Professor X running too luckily. And here we go. This could be very damaging. <laughs> and we lose Chavez from our team. It's just amazing how well Professor X can run in the uh, 2019 event that they had out man that was tough he was used in so many teams i was trying to get some attack tiles on the board so that when they were matched we would get health boosts back from medusa and uh, that would have been able to uh, give a lot of at least burst health back to america to keep her on the match i still think we're going to win with medusa alone we'll see if we can keep the enemy away from getting way too lucky. 
Purple's very dangerous. He can play it again. Medusa is still stunned. So, what do we want to do here? Professor X could... Hopefully he doesn't play his ability and pick red. Okay, picked blue. Still damaging, but not too bad. And now when attack tiles are matched, we will get a little bit of a health burst. Sounds good. We're working pretty well on Professor X. Let's do, let's play Medusa's purple here to spin the board a little bit. Maybe we'll get her countdown matchable. What a move. Lucky. Extra move in purple. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. What I wanted to do was play... Wanted to play... Prehistoric Bite from... I think we're going to do it. Professor X reduces incoming damage. This might be uh, right about what it takes to knock him out. Prehistoric Chomp, excuse me. And he is out. Wow, thank goodness for that. Now I think we can work on Devil Dino ourselves. We've got a little bit of burst health going on. That'll keep us in good shape. Devil Dino's going to get that match for him purple against us. I don't think it's going to hurt a whole lot. Medusa is just so good. We'll uh, get a little more burst health here. The attack tiles are really adding up now. Just a couple more turns and we should win. All right, got the win against a very tough team. Did lose Chavez, but Medusa kept her health up for basically the entire match. And we're going to do one more battle. Hopefully this is enough time for you guys to get in your contest picks. Once again, if you're uh, catching up, we're going to do 125 draws from our Heroics tokens. And then if we need to, we're going to continue into the Mighty Tokens to see how many four-star characters we draw. You're able to pick one and one only if you're a subscriber to the channel. Put it in the comments below. And if we draw that four-star character that you've chosen along the way, you win a gift card worth $25. And uh, can't wait to get that out to our longtime subscribers. And uh, if you're new, good luck as well. Let's get into one more battle here. That looks like a tough one. Let me think about that for a second. So, I want to play... Let's see. What do we want to do here? We want to focus on Karnak in this one. He's also boosted. He's one of my absolute favorites, as you know. He features red and blue. That means we could play purple-green from Devil Dino. Let's go ahead and give a health pack. And so that basically leaves black and maybe yellow as active color abilities that we haven't uh, brought along yet. So we're not going to get a lot out of Juggernaut for those colors, but I think with his automatic damage from his uh, AoE that he deals, I think it's going to be fun to bring him along. This will be good for our um, uh, four-star boosted character kind of showcase here and see if we can find a way to win against a tougher team all right so thorakoye is long standing one of the meta teams we really need to go for blue and red to get karnak ready to go if he gets his blue and red i think you guys remember or have played him plenty uh that he is absolutely super powered uh, once he gets past turn four, he basically becomes a five-star character with match damage. In fact, it can be a little bit more than what normal um, five-stars do. Let's get uh, black and red here. So it looks like Juggernaut is um, not going to be as helpful in this match as I thought because he doesn't tank very many of his own colors. And that's what he needs to do to do the team damage. 
interesting. I should have thought about that with the color overlap with Devil Dino. They'll get purple here. Set me up for a yellow extra move. And a red one on the drop. All right, that worked out really well. And what do we want to do? We've got blue and red matches to make. I think we're going to go purple that drops blue here. Now watch this. Critical tiles coming from Exploit the Flaw. Awesome. Look how damaged Okoye is already. That's just crazy. We're going to probably take her out really soon here, and then we'll we'll save our abilities to play against Thor. Actually, let's see what happens. What, let's see what we get from Prehistoric Arms. This is probably the time to play it. It does a, a random tile swap, a small amount of damage. I know there's a match four on the board, but that was so great. Perfect. It worked out to knock Okoye out of the match while it's uh, still our turn and we can focus on Thor. In fact, you know what? Let's move over to Devil Dino for this match four, just in case. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Let's move back over to Thor here. The board looks pretty good. Um, green matches trigger Juggernaut. We haven't really gotten a whole lot of green going, but let's go ahead and play Prehistoric Bite once again. See how the board... I was hoping it wasn't going to hit that specific spot, but this might be the time. Let's play Probing Strike. It adds three critical tiles to the board and they very often and deals damage of course 12,000 plus in this case but they very often will blow up immediately when they hit the board if not um, and the critical tiles are left on the board we can play shatter for a ton of damage on each critical tile and then also set up some cool cascade um, action here we go probing strike one of my favorite abilities in four star land oh man they really hit in a great location. <laughs> they knocked Thor completely out of the match. And check it out. We can get a really good result from Shatter. No critical tiles were, were left on the board. But let's destroy, say, this purple tile here to drop this blue down. We'll also destroy that black, which sets up an extra move in blue. If that wasn't enough, we can also destroy two tiles here for another extra move in purple at the, as the result of the other tiles dropping. This is going to be great. Did I mess up on the purple extra move? I think I did. That's all right. Another shatter will do it. And that is a win. Took very little damage. Just absolute love of Karnak. I'll play him a, a lot more during this event. Good luck as you go through the anniversary, everyone. Roar is a fun event when you get to play with a boosted, limited four-star character in Devil Dino. Let me know how things are going for you guys. And once again, best of luck in the contest. Get at it now. Pick the single guess that you get to make for a four-star character. And we'll see who the winners are um, over the next 24 hours. I'll draw those tokens and uh, have the next video up on Sunday night. Should be at 8 p.m. Central. See you then, guys. Thanks again.